30-06 John here and today what we're going to be doing is showing how to adjust the Leopold VX3 HD CDS-ZL elevation knob. Hope you, you enjoy the video and uh, keep on watching. I've seen a problem uh, several times down at the range. I've actually helped a person here a couple days ago set a scope up. These new Leopold VX3 HDs with this uh, CDS-ZL turret knob, they're nice, but they're, they're just a little bit different on adjusting elevation on it. And a lot of people know how to do it, but talking to the range master and what I've seen down at the range, there's a lot of people that are surprised by what it takes to uh, set these up. So let's uh, review it real fast. This scope right here, I bought this scope about a year ago, less than a year ago. It's a Leopold VX3 HD. So this dial, as it comes from the factory, uh, it has this little stop button right here. So the dial won't move. And when you press it in, it won't go one direction. It won't go down, but it'll go up. That way you could uh, click in your elevation, but when you go all the way back over it clicks to the stop button and it can't go any further past that it's a nice feature but when you're initially setting the scope up you can't get uh, sighted in correctly because you really don't have any down elevation what you have to do is actually take this knob off the scopes come with a little allen wrench I'm not sure of the size if you're going to go to the range to sight it in, I'll take a complete little Allen wrench kit. You do have to loosen, stick them up. There, uh, there's two screws here. You have to loosen them up. Once you've got them loose, just pull it right off. Once you have the turret cap off, you'll see this little knob right here. It's really not made to be turned easily by hand. So you have to do your initial sight in. If you could turn it by hand, that's good. A lot of times you need a rag to turn it. Sometimes they're so stiff you need a little wrench of some type to turn it. But you sight the rifle in with this turret cap off. So after you have the scope and rifle sighted in how you want it. Me, I usually sight my rifles in 2 to 3 inches high at 100 yards. Get the cap. You put it on, and you can spin it around, and it'll hit this little notch in there. That's where you should be at, right there. That's your zero, right there. Then you tighten up the screws. There, got it on. Scope is sighted in. Won't move. Press it in. You dial your elevation up. When you go back to your zero, comes to the stop. I hope uh, everyone found this short video useful. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people down the range having this problem. Anyhow, that's all that I have for today. Thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe and uh, have a nice day.